I'm Michelle Spadoni. I'm a 2014 AMS Phoenix Fellow. I'm a registered nurse. I have a background in cancer and palliative care nursing. I've spent much of my practice in the community setting. I worked in a regional cancer centre delivering health care to people living in rural and remote parts of northwestern Ontario. Currently, I'm a faculty member at Lakehead University teaching undergraduate nursing students, specifically first-year students as they come into the nursing program and haven't yet figured out what nursing really is about or the meaning of being a nurse. And I have the privilege of working with students as they're exiting our program in year four, as they're transitioning from being an undergraduate nurse to a graduate nurse. My first experience with the AMS Phoenix Foundation was actually as a grant recipient in 2012. I received a grant to explore how caring and compassion is understood through an Indigenous worldview. At that time, that work for me began in a classroom with a conversation with a group of first-year nursing students. We were actually studying a chapter on vulnerable popu populations, and one of the students said, how come people like me to her fellow colleagues, are always in the back of the chapter. And the students asked her, well, what do you mean, people like you? And she said, well, people from an Indigenous background, First Nation, Métis, Inuit people. She said, and sometimes immigrant people end up in the back of the chapter. And I wonder what that really means. So she, in a way, opened up a really deep discussion around what it means to be different. They thought about what it means to come from a different social economic status, or does gender play a role in what it means to be different? They started to think about, well, what are my cultural beliefs and what are my political ideologies? And does that shape in some way my experience as a patient? Or does it shape my experience as a nurse? And do I carry my values and beliefs with me when I'm meeting a family for the first time, or a patient in a busy eMERGE department? So that early work with my grant actually became the roots and the threads for the work that I've done in my fellowship. In my fellowship, I wanted to explore how we teach educational strategies towards helping and supporting the development of relational caring practitioners. And over the last year, I've been privileged to work with Dr. Pamela Wakewich and Dr. Mary Ellen Hill from the Center of Rural and Northern Health Research at Lakehead University. And we've particularly been trying to pull ideas around what it means to be a relational caring practitioner who is socially engaged and understands the premises of what it means to be a socially just practitioner. The AMS Phoenix opens a door for us to practice across disciplines together and to form in a way a community that's focused on caring practice and supporting the development of caring practitioners. And as a community, we come from all disciplines and all walks of life. For some of us, we're nurses, others, we're physicians, some of us are occupational therapists, there's physiotherapists, psychologists, psychiatrists, and we all have a very unique perspective of how patients and families navigate critical life events and understand health and well-being. And I think we're positioned so well now in Ontario because we, we reach all across the province. I'm from the north. I work with colleagues that are from southern Ontario. I work with colleagues that are off in Queens and, and people that are off in Windsor and Waterloo. What could we say? about how healthcare is organized and managed. And at times when things are not running well, what do we know from our everyday practice and from our research and our work and our ability to teach about how the healthcare could be reconsidered and reconfigured and reimagined for patients and families? That is one of the most powerful pieces of belonging to the AMS Phoenix Project Community.